Hey scrappers, I want to show you a couple of different grades of wire. I want to show you some things on how we sort it at our scrap yard. Here we call this a 35% ICW number two. Of course, ICW stands for insulated copper wire. What does that mean? These are a lot of the computer cords you can kind of see here. These are power cords that plug into the back of things. And when you look at the end, the cross cut, you only see a small amount of copper. That 35% ICW means that this general package, all of these combined, and as you see here, it could include extension cords, it could include low-grade ribbon wire, it could include things that you don't even know what they're from, could be different power supply cords, right? That means that this overall package is 35% copper, 65% plastic or non-copper items. So when you go to separate things, while many people think that extension cords are good, this is what it looks like inside. Two or three small pieces of copper. So the percentages, while it looks thick, the copper wire that's inside isn't as heavy duty as it would be from like a THHN. This, these three pieces here have a lot of insulation and you can kind of see how they mimic each other, just different sizes. As we move on, we have here kind of a 45%, 50% ICW. This would be things like Cat5 wire, Cat, uh, uh, cat, the internet cables from the back. These could be larger grades as you see here. This could be from running different data lines. Um, those are different things that you can look at. Telephone cords, right? These have higher percentages of copper and this is something that you're never going to want to strip. It's never going to be worth your time, your fingers, and, and really you're never going to make more money with it. Now moving on, we have our Steel BX. Now of course inside of the Steel BX you're going to have the THHN that you can see here, right? And many people are going to want to take this out, but unless you're pulling it from a clean sleeve, these kind of act like the, the Chinese finger traps. When you pull it apart, they get tighter, and there's THHN inside, but when you try to actually pull these things out, you're never making more money. You're really wasting your time. Unless you have nothing else to do, Steel BX is not a category that I would tell you to ever invest time in and trying to upgrade. Now moving on over here, a lot of people would strip stuff like this. Now depending on the scrap yard, depending on how clean it is, now this is a piece that will get stripped, but these other pieces that are here, this is about a, a 80 to 85% ICW material. What does that mean? That means 80 to 85% of the weight is going to be copper, it's generally bare bright, and as a rule of thumb at our scrap yard, we don't strip things that are smaller than the size of your pinky, so some of these things, they would cut too easily on the wire stripper, which means that people can get hurt. So these are just things that we look at from our point of view. Moving on, you have your Romex. Romex is about a 70 to 78 percent ICW. That means 70 to 75 percent of the weight of this is copper. We know that you scrappers love Romex. It comes from, uh, excuse me, love THHN, not Romex, excuse me. THHN could be inside of the Romex. As you see, there are multiple strands inside here. So do we ever recommend stripping this stuff? We do not recommend stripping this, but again, we have different viewpoints. We know that a lot of you are out there have wire strippers. If you need to find more wire strippers, we have different videos and links below that you can click on to see different wire strippers that will strip this THHN really well. But a couple of things that I would point out, if you're gonna spend time upgrading something, upgrading Romex to THHN, that's a really good avenue to go down. You can definitely make more money. This is generally between 62 and 68% copper. So that's one thing that you can think about when you're out there stripping wire or looking for wire that you want to upgrade. Overall, these are a couple of really good things to look at, to make money on, and to think about when you're out there looking for more ways to maximize your scrap, looking for more ways to make money. Of course, comment below with any other questions that you have, and until next time, I'll scrap you later. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you, and I'll scrap you later.